Special morning to wake up with you, beautiful risers. Welcome to it. Your feel good breakfast show, Espresso, is live, large, and in charge. And it's Espresso's happy birthday. We're 10 years old. Oh you. my word, an entire decade of decade. feel good. We're, we're all the OGs in the house. What Those on that have earth? been here for the full 10 years, raise your hands. Wow. Give us a whoop whoop. Well done, everybody. Seven and a half years for me, but I, and I feel like I've, I've achieved this amazing milestone. I can only imagine what it feels like for those who have been here from the beginning. But a decade on air, that's a whole chunk of our lives. That brother. is. It really, that's a really chunk is. Of our lives. People that's get, get long service awards. Exactly. We're going to get a pen. You're going to get a pen, man. You're going to get a little plate. You're going to name on it. Um, but we couldn't be more proud to be huh. celebrating our 10th birthday with you guys today because, of course, you've been probably the most important part of this dynamic. Yeah. So thank you so much. And, of course, today we're all about remembering the good times, the embarrassing times, yeah, and of many. course the moments that pulled at our heartstrings. So even if the Frenchies are partying it up, uh, the celebrations begin. I mean, I'm sure they're having a little party somewhere, yeah, as they uh, always do. As much as part of the team, look at that. Bobas, he's even got his tux on. Bobas, he's even wearing his dress. <laughs> That's today, amazing. Man. Absolutely love that. Yo, um, so we're going to be connecting with you guys uh, throughout the morning. We're going to be reliving some of our most magical moments. Impossible to choose. Like yeah, we were asked, yeah. like select some highlights. Like how? How do you do that yeah. after this amount of time? But there have been many amazing moments, thanks to your contribution as well. So we'll be feeling very grateful, I think, for the remainder of the show. And of course, we'd love to hear from you as well. What are some of your favourite moments of the past decade? of Espresso and feel good. Connect with us on social media, uh, hashtag Espresso Show. And happy birthday to you as well. Happy birthday, happy guys! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> it is a celebration here, everybody. Happy Monday to all of you. Yes, the OG said it. It is a family. It really is a family. Ten years on air. What a milestone for the Espresso family to be yeah. able to celebrate this with you, South Africa, because we wouldn't be half of who we were if it wasn't for you at home, the lovely viewers. That's true, man. I mean, the past ten years, you have played such an important role in waking up so many South Africans, entertaining them, and, of course, keeping them informed. And that's exactly why we want to connect with you on our social media platform. Today. Of course, and that's why we are seeing this morning with all the incredible things that have happened through the show over the last 10 years. What have been your favorite and fondest memories? And let us know, of course, on the ExpressoShow.com. Use that hashtag Expresso Show and keep the incredible stories coming in because we just want to reminisce <laughs> yes. and dive into the nostalgia I, today. I yeah? can't wait to just go through all those throwback memories, mm. just the journey from everyone and the growth. I mean, G seven and a half years, Cat was here Imagine. from day one. Just from to maybe see the young fades even. <laughs> Styles changing over the years. It'd be interesting to see. I wonder if it was if it was if it was kitten on the show before he became the cat. I wonder. I like that. We actually wow. that, uh, that he clarifies that for us. Make sure to keep the conversation going and the chias on our social media platforms and use that also oh important hashtag Expresso Show. But right now, before we get the festivities going, it's very important to know what's happening in and around the world. Thanks a lot, guys. It's just gone three minutes past six o'clock on this Monday morning. Here's a first look at the news headlines. On the national news front, the Gau train issued an alert yesterday informing commuters to know that trains on the north, south and east, west lines would only be available every 30 minutes today. Now, this is due to a strike action that is expected to commence today after Gau train's wage negotiations with the National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa, NUMSA, reached a deadlock. NUMSA said its members would also be picketing to highlight their demands as part of the strike. The bus and MIDI service will not be affected and will operate to schedule. Ethiopian Airlines Group is willing to provide planes, pilots and maintenance service to beleaguered rival South African Airways as part of a joint venture with the country's government. Africa's largest airline is offering operational assistance, Ethiopian Chief Ex Executive Officer Tewaldi uh, Gebre Mariam said, but the carrier isn't interested in helping with debt repayments or the cost of reducing the workforce, he added. Ethiopian Airlines could provide more modern Airbus SE350s and Boeing CO. 787s, he said, in comparison with SAA's Airbus 340 planes.
On the international news front, Nigeria's President Mohamedou Buhari said uh, this weekend called for national healing as the West African giant marked 60 years of independence in the face of deep economic and security challenges. Africa's most populous nation is holding scaled-down celebrations due to the coronavirus pandemic to commemorate six decades since it, it gained self-rule from Britain in 1960. Now, in an earlier televised speech, 77-year-old Buhari said that Nigeria, with its population exceeding 200 million, was bound by destiny to be the, great, the largest and greatest black nation on earth, but that the country is facing multiple challenges. In other news, Humane Society International's powerful new campaign video calls for an end to the lockdown for animals caged and confined uh, their entire lives. It says for millions of people around the world, lockdown during the global coronavirus pandemic has meant several testing months of isolation in the interests of protecting public health. But for billions of animals caged and confined in factory farms, laboratories, marine parks, roadside zoos, fur farms and circuses, lockdown lasts a lifetime. Animal protection organization Humane Society International now urges uh, global citizens to take action on behalf of these animals. And next, unusual sailing race that ends in Cape Town within hours. Well, yes, indeed, a most unusual sailing race in Cape Town is nearing its end with the next, within the next few hours. The event started at 10, uh, at 10 yesterday morning and will conclude at 10 this morning. And the venue, the Two Oceans Aquarium. Now, this is uh, the, as the aquarium is playing host to the 24-hour Optimist Sailing Challenge to raise funds for charity. The Little Optimist Trust is teaming up with the National Sea Rescue Institute and the Aquarium Foundation to find new ways of raising funds amid a global pandemic. Now, three sailors are sailing across the INJ Ocean Exhibit Tank at the Aquarium until 10 this morning. Clothed in their life jackets and protective gear, the Little Optimist trusts Greg Burtish, the Aquarium Foundation's Mareka Musson, and NSRI Chief Dr. Cleve Robertson aim to raise 20,000 Rand by the end of this 24-hour period. The unusual 24-hour journey highlights the incredible uh, around-the-clock work done by NSRI, the Aquarium's Foundation Turtle Rescue Team, and those who care for children in need. And online donations can still be made. Well, that's it for the news at 6 o'clock. We'll have another roundup for you at 7 right now. Let's take a first look at what happened in the world of sport over the weekend. Commiserations to all Liverpool fans. <laughs> I think commiserations to anyone wearing red um, in the footballing world. But let's start with the rugby this morning. The Sia Khaleesi-led green team overcame the gold team 25-9 in the Springbok showdown fixture at Newlands on Saturday. The green side headed into halftime with a 6-3 lead and came back stronger in the second half to score two tries and a penalty to win uh, the um, uh, once-off showpiece encounter. So South African rugby will continue this week with the Super Rugby Unblocked tournament starting on Friday evening. And on to great tennis news, South African tennis, uh, tennis uh, sensation Kola Monsi, he eased into the second round of the Roland Garros Junior Championship after seeing off French wildcard Axel Garcian 6-2, 6-2 yesterday. 17-year-old seeded 11th in the tournament will now play the unseeded Brit Felix Gill in the second round. Then other news coming from the French Open, South Africa's Kevin Anderson sadly crashed out after a 3-6, 2-6, 3-6 defeat to Russian Andrei Rublev. On to the IPL in the Indian Premier League, South Africa's Faf Dupli C continued his good form. He struck 87 not out from 53 deliveries to help secure a 10-wicket win for the Chennai Super Kings over the Kings 11 Punjab and at the Dubai International Cricket Stadium. In the daytime encounter, Duplessis' uh, Proteus teammate Quinton de Kock also starred for his team, hitting 67 from 39 deliveries. That for the reigning IPL champions, the Mumbai Indians, over the Sunrisers Hyderabad. The Royal Challengers Bangalore take on the Delhi Capitals in today's IPL fixture. Then on to a shock day in football defending English Premier League champions Liverpool recorded their first loss of the brand new season after a humiliating 7-2 defeat to Aston Villa at Villa Park late last night. Ollie Watkins was on fire scoring a first half hat-trick. Jack Grealish then scored two and goals by John McGinn and Ross Barkley secured a memorable win for the Villains. Earlier in the day Tottenham Hotspur they put six past Manchester United to win a record-breaking 6-1 encounter. You know record equaling at least at Old Trafford. And we'll delve deep into all of those permutations in just a moment. But right now, let's take our first look at the weather.
It's the start of a brand new day, a start of a brand new week. Also, it's a very special one because we are celebrating 10 years of Expresso and we want to do it the right way this morning by seeing what the skies have in store for us. But first, here are your sunrise pictures, starting off with Selena Mavuso, who shared this gloomy morning picture with Grace Guys, followed by the caption, My morning looks so cold. It seems it's going to be a very cold weekend. Well, unfortunately, the rain continues into the new week in parts of Bumalanga with a maximum of 25 degrees. Ujain Zama showed us how the weather is like in South Africa's playground, Durban. Well, your temperatures for the day range from 18 to 24 degrees. Thank you so, so much for all your sunrise pictures. Please Please continue to share them on our social media platforms. We will show them live on the show. Now moving on to our international weather report. Intermittent rain and strong wind have been experienced in Paris where the French Open enters its final week today. While in the south of east of France and northwestern Italy at least two people have died and up to 20 are still missing after a powerful storm ravaged these areas. The storm named Alex brought fierce winds and torrential rain. Villages north of Nice in France have suffered serious damage from floods and landslides with roads, bridges and homes destroyed. In some areas, 450 millimeters of rain fell into in just 24 hours with winds of more than 180 kilometers an hour. And in northwestern Italy, 630 millimeters of rain in 24 hours made roads impassable and flooding was described as historic and extremely critical. The city of Venice, which had been braced for high waters after suffering violent storms in August, was successfully protected by a flood barrier system only recently declared fully operational. Officials have said the pros prospect rather of even more rain in the coming days is truly worrying. Well, I hope everyone in those regions remains safe and uh, try to stay warm during these difficult times. Well, now we bring it back home with the temperatures for the rest of our country. Up in Zanzi, starting off with the partly cloudy Bologwane, uh, starting off the morning with a low of 16, reaching a high of 25. Bombela do expect some thunder showers today with 65% chance of rain. And Pretoria, 1528 for you with 40% chance of rain. Johannesburg, the rain also extends to your part of the country with 26 uh, degrees as your maximum. It's a cloudy one for Mahikeng at a low of 15 and a high of 32 degrees. Also do expect some showers um, during the day. Glegsdorp, 14, reaching a high of 32. Sounds like a great summer's day. And Kimberley, uh, 1228. It's a cloudy one for Bloemfontein at 928. Richards Bay, 1923. Do expect some showers at 55% chance of rain. Peter Marisburg, some thunder showers at 40% for you, starting off the morning with 15 degrees and will reach an afternoon temperature of 25. South Africa's playground, Durban, 1824. Mtata, 10 degrees, Namlanj, Exasa, but will reach an afternoon temperature of 28. East London, 15, 20. 25 was about Shoshua Mimi, Cradock 930 and Port Elizabeth, the friendly city. It's going to be a warm one for you at a maximum of 22 degrees. It's a sunny one for George as well. The spring has sprung definitely with a maximum of 22. Mother City, Cape Town 1422 and Vusta, sunny one for you with a maximum of 26. And the sun continues into Sutherland with a maximum of 24. And it's a cloudy one for Uppington, but it's going to be a warm day with a maximum of 30 degrees. Well, this was your weather roundup. We'll have another look at the top of the hour. Remember, whichever part of the country you're in, whatever the weather, please make sure to have yourselves a blessed and productive Monday morning. Oh, and a blessed day it's going to be because when life gives you birthdays, all you have to do is eat some cake. It's smooth. <laughs> now, today is an excuse for every South African to join us in eating cake to celebrate Expresso's 10th birthday. Can you believe it? I still can't even insane, get over it. Insane. Now, all cakes are, of course, smooth, but we all have our own personal favorites, which make some smoother than others. So, Jamie, what's your favorite cake? Listen, I'm going to be very honest with you. A carrot cake is kind of smooth to okay, me. I just okay. love the traditionally topped, you know, cream cheese frosting but also because it's carrots i feel like it's a vegetable so technically it's healthy you know what i mean what is your favorite? i see what you did they look for me it's got to be my kryptonite nothing beats chocolate it's not only because chocolate encourages our brain to release good endorphins but it makes us feel better now how can that not be smooth okay listen you kind of beat me with that
that one. Well, a, a great way to also enjoy your cake is with a Tropica, of course, and not only is that a smooth combo, but you could also flip the cap to find smooth and stand a chance to win instant prizes, plus go in our weekly grand prize draw this Friday to win a microwave, which you could use to make your own microwave mug cake. I mean, oh, simple, wow. easy. That's simple as that. So all you gotta do is just buy any Tropica promotional pack with a red cap, and of course, flip the cap. And if you find smooth underneath the cap, then you stand a chance of winning. And if you don't find smooth, then try flipping another cap right up until you do. Now, once you find smooth, then follow the details on the pack to stand a chance of winning smooth instant prizes like headphones, mobile phones, travel start vouchers, return local flights, watches, sunglasses, and so much more. More and more and more. Plus, you stand a chance of going into the draw to win weekly grand prizes live right here on Expresso. And that's every Friday by flipping a cap on our wall till you find smooth. Now, this Friday, you could be flipping the cap uh, for a microwave. So go on and get your Tropica today to enter. The more Tropica you buy and find smooth, the more chances to win. And remember, those T's and C's do apply and can be found on tropica.co.za. You want to you wanna try? Flip it, you flip, it, flip it, Boom. I feel like yes! you knew that was, I feel like you knew that was <laughs> Doesn't really count. Doesn't. But that's smooth. Okay. Smooth. Thank you. <laughs> Are you smooth or not smooth? Buy Tropica. Flip the cap. If you find smooth, you stand a chance to win smooth prizes. Tropica. Nothing smoother. Welcome back, you're live with Express on our 10th birthday. Yay! We're loving it, man. We're, we're like uh, pumped. We are, I think, feeling a bit nostalgic. Everyone's a little bit emotional. Yeah. Kind of, um, we've watched each other grow up, literally, on the show. Obviously, you're a new addition to it, but um, we've seen you transform um, before our eyes. It's been such a privilege. So we thought we'd share some of those special moments. So you yeah. are the OG, dude. So you, you've been here the longest now. So I'm going to give day you- one. Since day one. Since the, the, <laughs> the crazy, very right? ground zero, man. You, you were there. Can you, is it even possible to select a high or one or two moments that it, that it, really it is stand up. impossible. Yeah, because it's got to be. Yeah. Th this show has just been such an incredibly humbling experience to be a part of it, to be a part of the team, and, and to watch it grow over the years, and to watch just how people have really become like our family. Everyone For out sure, there has become man. like family, you know. So it's 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 difficult to choose that. But when I had to go back, it, it, it's actually something that harks back to my own childhood, like growing oh, up wow. as well. Okay. Uh, getting to meet Brian McKnight. Oh, cool, yeah. was one of the, the, the most amazing experiences of my life, knowing that I, I grew up listening to his voice, um, trying to kind of model some of his vocal stylings, and then to have the privilege of introducing him and interviewing him and have him have the reaction that he had was just, just life. Priceless. Yeah. Take a look. 
Well, our next guest, ladies and gentlemen, needs no introduction. He's released 18 albums, several of which have gone double and triple platinum. He sold more than 30 million albums worldwide, in addition to being one of the most insanely talented singers, songwriters, and producers around the world. Uh, having him here with us is even sweeter because this year he marks his 25th anniversary as a recording artist. Ladies and gentlemen, South Africa and the world, we present the R&B legend himself, Mr. Brian McKnight! <laughs> I think that was the best introduction I've, I've ever had. That was, that was incredible. I've been, waiting my, I've been waiting my whole life to do that. I'm gonna put that in my outgoing message when people call me. <laughs> what? How you know cool what I mean? Is that, man. that is insane. You know what, I mean? what, a, what a privilege to be able to meet yeah. these people. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, thank you, South Africa, for making 10 years of Espresso possible. Uh, without you making it possible, moments like this would not be possible. It would never, lives. ever happen. Y you were complaining that you found it already difficult to try to choose one moment, and, and you haven't been here for 10 years, no. but you've had some, some highs and some lows. You've been through a crazy journey connected yeah. to the show. Has it been able to, have you been able to choose kind of one highlight? Really not. I think the first day that I stepped onto set, that for me was like the biggest moment, just meeting all of you guys, obviously the OGs in the business. But I also again had to go back and like highlight one moment and it had to be the day that I met Paul Tusi and Umzama Mbata. That was just to be able to sit with women in the industry that has mm. pioneered, you know, the entertainment space and now it's just like boom in your face. They're they, they just, they're level, really yeah. taking it to a high level. So to sit down and not just, because remember it's a conversation that we're having with them, yeah. but also behind the scenes when they give you that little gems and just like stay who you are, be true to your, and yeah. they, they say like, you're doing good. That, you don't need that acknowledgement, but when they recognize wow, you just like, validation, yeah. You know, that that was the, sure. like a big moment for me. So yeah, it was very. Oh, let's have a look at it. Yeah. Also, leaving your ge the, your generation better than you found it. Yes. You know, that's like my motto in life. Mm. Um, I think it's it's now's the time. Mm. Now is just the time. It's just, the black girls' but moment. But also, like, mm. just do you. Yeah. Mm. You know, like completely, completely do you, and be courageous, be brave about your dreams, and whoever's watching is able to to see that and be inspired by that. Mm. You can't be what you don't see. Yes. Yeah. Where to from here? I mean, like, you just <laughs> branding, collaborating. Are you coming? <laughs> To Africa, Africa. To are America. you coming to America? America. I just said I'm a digital nomad. <laughs> I moved to Italy and just become a waitress. <laughs> Oh, uh, she said it, man. She said it. Awesome. I actually remember that show and remember saying afterwards that might have been the best show of the year at the time. Yeah. It was just such a powerhouse edition of the show. But yeah. um, what, a, what a gift what, we have, eh? What, to be able to connect with, you know, everyone with these people, but also to connect with South Africa and bring South Africa into this space where they get to see these conversations and real conversations, yeah. that for me is always a blessing. And, and it's, it's my hope that when we have these experiences and these moments with these amazing people that it inspires you at home, that you truly see yourself as being part of that conversation as well um, because I think that's that is what we strive for every day when we say feel good breakfast show that's what it's all about yeah no it really is it's a mandate and it's something that we hold true to so maybe there's a, a feel good moment or two that you can remember that made you feel amazing and um, that stands out in this 10 years of history with the show we'd love to hear from you please share with us share pictures share videos share those magical moments with us on the Express of Morning Show Facebook page and as always hashtag Espresso turns 10 this morning, um, but we'd love to hear from you. Of course, we're celebrating all these special moments, and I think here's another one coming up right now, since we are officially in October. But given all the hardships we've gone through this year, we are calling it Hope Tober. Mm -hmm. And now the idea of dedicating October 2020 as a month of hope for all South Africans led to the creation of Hope Tober, which is an initiative from Adcock Ingram's OTC Sponsors of Brave to encourage people to work towards restoring hope through acts of kindness to fellow citizens. Now, as part of the Hope Tober campaign, Adcock Ingram Ingram's OTC sponsors of Brave will be giving away 5,000 Rand every week for four weeks to people sharing their answers of hope with us. I mean, Raul, there's absolutely no doubt that there's a lot of uncertainty mm. that surround, surrounds us currently. But one thing that South Africans know how to do is stick together and have hope for our beautiful country, which was truly evident when over 1 million South Africans supported the hashtag I am staying vision of hope earlier this year. I certainly 
certainly believe in this incredible country of ours. We have come so far, mm. you know, especially, you know, with the, with um, post-94, uh, you know, there's hope for a better South Africa. You know, we're promoting the Rainbow Nation mm. for a reason because we do need to learn about each other. We do need to learn to live in harmony together in Definitely. order to ensure a better Definitely. and safer future for everyone um, you know in South Africa. Oh, quickly, I couldn't say it better and I just to think especially as South Africans the amount of adversity that we've come through. Mm. You mentioned 94 and all the way up until recent times silly things like dealing with power failures, yes. dealing with the current pandemic and mm. everything else that is uh, riddled in, in, in our nation. It's crazy to see how we can rise above that and Truly. still deliver, still achieve and still pursue some of the dreams that we do have so I yes. could not agree with, more with you but now Expresso <laughs> We want to hear from you, of course. Adcock, Ingram, OTC, sponsors of Brave are giving away that 5,000 Rand in cash. And all you have to do is reply to the Hopetober competition post on the Expresso Facebook or Twitter page and tell us what is it about our beautiful country that gives you hope. Now make sure to use that hashtag Hopetober. October Brave and the competition closes on the 6th of October 2020 at midnight so terms and conditions can be found on expressoshow.com yeah give me hope Joanna oh hope, hope Joanna <laughs> What's better than a sugar-coated, deliciously crispy golden brown donut and 100% Arabica beans brewed to perfection? Treat yourself and warm up your morning with a little sweetness from Mac Cafe with the all-new mini donut and cappuccino offer. A little lovin doesn't have to cost a lot. Great coffee, simple. I can't hear him. Carl, good morning, you lazy bugger. Can't believe you didn't come in, man. He can't hear me. He can't hear Graham. Uh, Carl, you there? Yes, I am. Good morning. How are you, buddy? I'm very well with yourself. Yeah, man. Hey. hey. I'll have a picture. I'll have a picture. <laughs> Give us a quick smile. Happy. Okay, one, two, three, and smile. I've got the updated brief. Thanks, love. Thank you. Um, are we talking about the crazy football last night? Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll talk a bit of uh, rugby and then we'll probably <coughs> be dominated by, by the Premier League and then we'll just throw in some IPL and French... Welcome back, you're live with Expresso, still celebrating our 10th birthday and absolutely loving it. Um, and of course, um, loving the short-term weekend sport, the action was just absolutely insane. Liverpool losing 7-2 to Aston Villa, Manchester United being thrashed by Tottenham Hotspur 6-1. We simply cannot let the day go by without reviewing all of the craziness. Sports writer Carl Lewis couldn't be here with us again this morning, but he's joined us via video call. I'm sure just like the rest of us, trying to wrap his head around the insanity, the this weekend, but I'm going to let that sink in, those two score lines for just a moment longer. And we'll start with rugby. We were treated to what we were hoping was going to be a, show a showpiece of incredible rugby. That it wasn't, but it was a good indication of where the Springboks are. And I'm sure gave the coaching collective a good opportunity to see where some of the youngsters are, where some of those combinations are clicking. So, Carl, very warm welcome to you. 25-9, the green team are victorious over the gold team. What did you make of the weekend? rugby action. I think we were hoping for a few more tries, but um, what, what are you, is your take home? Uh, good morning, Graham. Yeah, um, not much to take away, to be very honest. Uh, apart from the fact that, yes, rugby is back. Uh, thank, thank you for that. But in terms of entertainment, I don't think it was there. Um, it was an interesting approach from both teams to uh, kick for poles, take the three points instead of um, kicking out to the touchline and going for the tries. 
Um, I would have expected more of um, a spectacle. But uh, in the same breath, I understand the coaching staff's um, a directive to treat it like a test match because at the end of the day, it is the Springbok showdown. But I think you can't really read much into it. People are still getting fit. Players are still trying to get their match fitness right. So um, we look ahead to, to a Vodacom Super Rugby Unlocked next week. I think that's the, the exciting part where the match matters in terms of a league table. Any particular players standing out? I thought one area that did show some fireworks and it uh, not often is focused on was the, the tight. The scrums were certainly quite exciting with dominance shifting on either side. But did any particular players, especially with the new group coming through, but a couple of names here that we haven't seen on an international level before, did anyone really excite you, get you more excited about the impending Super Rugby? Yeah, well, I, I think you mentioned the scrums. I think we need to mention Stephen Kitsoff. He mm. kind of carried um, the gold scrum on his back. Superb scrummager. But in a very tight game with not much action, uh, the fullback, um, Gianni Lombard, he looked excellent. He plays for the Lions. Um, I thought Alton Yankees was, was very, um, uh, very solid in his performance. Uh, so I was quite impressed with him. And Sia Khaleesi wasn't too bad. He got a try, uh, try to boot. But, yeah, there wasn't a really standout. Just flashes of brilliance from players now and then. But I think we, to truly see uh, where the players are at, I think we've got to wait for, for the Super Rugby tournament that's, that's going to be starting next week. Uh, hard, to, hard to really um, get any takeaways, any um, tangible takeaways from, from Saturday's match. Yeah, I'm sure the coaching staff have been left uh, scratching their head just like you, um, just like the rest of us after this weekend's footballing action. So if we thought the 6-1, uh, obviously the, the first, I think it's a record equaling biggest loss in Manchester United's history was the horror show. It turned out to just be the first instalment. And then there was a sequel a little bit later with our defending champions being beaten 7-2. An insane weekend of sports. Just quickly flying through some of those results. Chelsea back on top, 4-0 against Crystal Palace. Leeds and Man City drawing and, and Leeds continue to really impress. Leicester, that was a bit of a shock going down to West Ham. Arsenal beating Sheffield United 2-1 and then boom, it happened. Manchester United compounded to one of the worst, um, I've got to say, performances and score margins in their history. In fact, record equaling 6-1 to a Spurs team that was on it. What did you make of that encounter? Well, obviously the, the red card incident is the, is the, uh, the biggest focal point. Um, I think Eric Lamela was lucky to stay on the field where uh, Anthony Martial, who did get the red card, um, he deserved it, yes. But I think there's a case for the Spurs player also to, also to be sent off. That being said, um, obviously the, I, I think yesterday's um, scoreline is kind of an indication of where Manchester United are as a club right now, as it stands, you know, they're struggling in the league, they're struggling to get transfers over the line. Um, and there's just a doomy atmosphere around Old Trafford. And it kind of just showed yesterday in yesterday's performance. And yes, they weren't helped by the red card, but I think it was just kind of a, a shout to Ed Woodward, who makes the transfers, the transfer decisions, that he needs to do something now and I expect um, signings to be made on deadline day today so yeah, look, I, I think that's what it really was for United a wake up call to say or, or to say listen we need to get our act together we need to get some players we need a more rounded squad I think it had to happen in a weird way Look, they've already spent, if you, if you tally it all up, well over 200 million and they still haven't got it right. So spending more is going to be difficult. Um, and very quickly, finally, what happened to Liverpool? Can we blame it all on substitute keeper um, Adrian coming in for a, a, an, an injury replacement there? What went wrong for the defending champions? I think you can't blame it on Adrian. Yes, uh, Alison missing is a big thing, but honestly, um, Villa was superb last night. Every time they attacked, there was a potential for them to score. It was really unbelievable. I, I just didn't feel the motivation from Liverpool with it, was there. I mean, last week when they beat Arsenal, I felt, OK, this Liverpool team's on another level. And it just really felt like they weren't there yesterday with Manchester City drawing, United losing. It felt like it was a free run for for Liverpool and, and the, um, they just didn't seem to be at the races but 
all credit to Villa. Uh, Liverpool didn't ha- have a man sent down. They played 11 v 11 and still scored seven goals. And I promise you they could have got nine or ten. They were that good last night. So credit to Villa. Um, I think it's just a blip for Liverpool. No need to panic. No need to overreact. <laughs> It was just one of those, those days. Don't go throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Carl Lewis is saying this morning, thank you so much for joining us, my friend. I'm going to send a quick shout-out to Colawan Monsi as well, progressing in the French Open Woo! Junior Championship. Um, he is on his way, another future champion in the making, undoubtedly. But, Carl, thank you so much for your opinions this morning. Um, enjoy the afterglow of this crazy weekend of sport. We'll connect with you soon. Thank you, Graham. And of course, you can continue to connect with us. Let us know how you felt about this weekend's sporting action. Maybe you can commiserate with Raul this morning. He needs a big shoulder um, to, to, to cry on today. But um, we'd love to connect with you. And we're always looking for that super fan to join us um, in our conversation. But keep it connected. Keep letting us know your favorite memories. It's Espresso's 10th birthday, baby! Yeah, yeah imagine, imagine if Aston Villa actually scored 10. That would have been amazing. Like, to celebrate our 10th birthday as well, you know? Would have been nice. Has that ever been done in history of like... No, but it's very possible this time mm. around with, this, with, with the kind of action we're seeing. <laughs> but let's talk about you winning. Um, quickly, if I had to give you 2,500 yeah. rand cash, what would you do with it? You know what? I'm thinking, should I be responsible or should I pamper myself and do extra things that I would otherwise think about? Okay. You know, um, when I use my actual money. So... Full on pampering because yeah. it's end your fatigue and you just need, do you know, that kind of massage, yeah, yeah, tissue yeah. massage. Mm, mm. Okay, what, what if I gave you 5,000 Rand cash? What would you do with that? Now that's a lot of money. I don't know what I would do with that. I'd probably just keep it and be responsible with that one. <laughs> <laughs> now, if a little extra cash in your account sounds like a good time, then you have the power to make it happen. Now, when you spend 500 rands or more on your net bank card, you stand a chance of winning 2,500 rands. Now, why are you whispering it? 2,500 rand! Exactly. Now, better yet, if you open a new net bank account and spend 500 rand, you can walk away with 5,000 rands in cash. Straight in. EFT to your account. The sweetest tweet tweet you'll Ooh. ever get. Huh? We all love that sound. I love waking up to that. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's never been easier to win, so make sure that you capitalize on this golden opportunity. And remember that once you have spent that 500 Rand or more, you must then SMS NEDBANK to 33728 to register your entry. All SMSs will be charged at 1 Rand 50, and the terms and conditions that apply can be found on our website, expressoshow.com. So I'm chatting to Umalume Mosa here. He's owned a small clothing factory for years now, and he's always inspired me with his success. But like a lot of businesses, this lockdown's hit him hard. So he spoke to his banker, and they've put together a tailor-made relief solution for him to help his business and his people get through this. Making your bank your business partner, that's a habit worth keeping.
Cadbury Dairy Milk Glass and a Half Project presents There's a Story in Everyone. Visit cadbury.co.za forward slash story time for more information on how to share your inspirational story. Happy, 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 happy birthday, birthday. <laughs> Guys, we are still celebrating a decade of your feel-good breakfast show. The Gias, everything has just been so amazing this oh, morning. So, so true. And we wouldn't be who we are without you at home and, of course, our favorite celebs. So let's take a look at your wishes. <laughs> leave it your birthday 10 amazing incredible years and i'm proud to say that i was there from day one and all i can say is a big fat happy birthday from jenny and may you prosper and just keep going for the next hundred years Happy birthday, Espresso, from your main boy, Darren. I just want to say, keep making a smile, keep bringing the energy, and most importantly, keep having fun. Woo! As Miss South Africa 2019, and on behalf of South Africa, we'd love to wish the Espresso Show a very happy birthday. Happy 10th birthday, Espresso! Thank you for making us feel good every single morning. I said, yo, yo, yo! I said, hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Happy birthday to the Expresso family, 10 years in the, in the industry and thank you for all the work that you do for us artists and always supporting um, the Carl Deitch brand the way you do. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday Expresso. Good morning Expresso family, my name is Busuma Mila and I would like to wish you the happiest birthday ever and I love you so much, keep up the good work. Good morning, Expresso family. I wish you more life and continue to be the best. And yeah, happy birthday. Four. So we're here to celebrate with you. It is Expresso's 10th anniversary of being on the air, making sure that we as artists are celebrated incessantly. We are grateful we celebrate with you. We want to say thank you to you. Have a magnificent year full of wonderful celebratory moments from us. celebrations all over the place thank you so much to all our lo loyal and absolutely loved viewers for all of those beautiful wishes that are coming through it is our 10th birthday and then of course we did need to go all out and create a combination of all of your favorite recipes i mean there have been many of them along the years of course a chocolate brownie and baked cheesecake is one of them that stood out for us what did we do well i'll tell you now marbled cheesecake chocolate brownies they are oh so yum you'll see why uh, they are of course a real showstopper and of course not about to show stop this show uh, we can't wait to uh, have you dig in and get involved with this entire cooking experience or baking experience. Angie, Thank good morning. You. Good morning. Oh, yeah, there isn't a better way to mark a celebration uh, or to celebrate than mm -hmm. uh, to eat uh, anything sweet, right? Decadence. Decadence, that's what, that's what decadence is what it's yes. all about. Uh, and th this decadence here is exactly what a 10th mm. birthday celebration calls for. But let's, let's get involved. What are the recipes? What are we making? Okay. How do we bring it to life? So we've got chocolate brownies, yeah. which are amazing. Yes. And then we've got cheesecake, which is amazing. <gasps> and then we just combine it together and you've got a winner, And right? it's one thing. Yeah. It's insane. One dessert. I haven't Two ever heard of cheesecake and chocolate brownies oh, yeah, combined. Oh, that's a great combo. Oh, because wow. Because the cheesecake is a little bit tart. Yes. And the brownies are really rich and sweet. Yeah. So it sort of really goes Ooh, together when you well. you bite into Divine. all of that, those And it's all layers. soft and Ooh, oh, yes. that's lovely. Bring it on. I right, so we're going to start with the chocolate brownie base. Yeah. So we've got some melted butter. Okay. Um, pour that in. Mm. How do you melt your butter? Uh, microwave, I always wonder with the microwave, bakers, yeah. you microwave. I microwave a lot of yeah. stuff. I find yeah. it just the easiest. Mm -hmm. um, often when you put something in a pot, it sort of burns on the bottom. So if I, micro I microwave milk, I microwave heat butter, factor. chocolate, everything. Mm -hmm. So we've got butter, sugar combined. Okay. Just mix it a little bit. Um, it doesn't need to dissolve. Yeah. And then we're going to add our eggs. All right. So our two eggs. Okay. Um, preferably free range. I like to use free range eggs. Mm. Um, give that a good mix. And you just want it to break up. A little bit of aeration going on, but it's not too much because yeah. you do have baking powder. And, and, and if you didn't want to use uh, the whisk, for example, could you use uh, the 
What's that electric one? Called? Oh, the electric hand yeah. mixer. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Could definitely, you do that? Okay, definitely. so that's not going to do too much oh, aeration. No. Yeah, no, okay? this is perfect. Okay. And then we've got some melted chocolate. So mm. we have in the recipe, there's a, an amount of chocolate. We divide it in half. Okay. Half we melt and half we're going to add as lovely oh, chunks. Oh. It, listen, the oh. more chocolate, the, the better, better. Right? No one's going to complain about yeah, that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You can never have too much chocolate. Um, and what you want is a nice dark chocolate. Yeah. Um, because you really want that chocolatiness to come yes. through. So yes. that just gets mixed in as well. Mm. Um, make sure your chocolate is still warm when you mix it in, otherwise yes. it's going to solidify well, too much. Well, for everybody at home right now watching this and going, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, this is something I want in my home. Why don't you go onto our website? It's www.expressoshow.com. We've got this recipe on there with all of the ingredients listed there, as well as how to bring them all, to life, bring them all together to life. And of course, if you're wanting a bit of a showstopper in your home, this is it. Those are the steps this you need to it. follow. Right. So, so now what we, have you got there? Cocoa. Okay, so we've got flour, just normal cake flour. Oh, cake flour. Okay. Cake flour, some cocoa powder. Yes. And a bit of bicarb. Great. Okay. And we mix that all together. Oh, gosh, I'm making a mess. Well, if mix you're not making a mess, together. then are you even doing it? We're, not, we're not having fun. If then not you're not having fun and you're not doing it right. Exactly. That's what I always say. Okay. And I bake all the time. Oh, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> I didn't think so. Right, so we've got our batter. And what we're going to do now, oh, I'm making a, a real mess here. We're going to add our chopped chunks to that. Nice. And just stir it through. I do love that combination of the dark chocolate with, uh, with the sort of the um, sort of normal uh, milk chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on. lovely. Um, and then we're going to take a little bit out. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you now. This is a, this is a higher grade recipe. You've got to pay attention to it. Okay, okay, all right. So then we're going to put the batter in the base. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is... Whenever you have a recipe, just sort of, it, it's one of those trial and error things. So you'll find a really good recipe. Mm. Make sure that your tin is the correct size for your recipe. So okay. you'll, find, you'll see this one, the tin is a little bit big. Um, but that's the sort of thing that you get used to as you go. Okay. Once you've made it. Takes it, time. it takes a little time. Takes time. So you'll find your favorite tin in your kitchen. Yeah. And make sure that it's the right size so that your batter does that fits yeah. in perfectly. So I'm going to be, uh, while, while you're doing that, yeah. helping out here. Or do, unless you want to do it yourself. No, you can I go. I mean, you don't want to mess with a baker's flow. Go ahead. Uh, should I go ahead? So yeah. what is in here? Right. So we've got our cream cheese, okay. nice full fat cream cheese. Mm -hmm. um, so once again, I like to use a whisk for everything because you don't get lumps if you okay. have a whisk. So full fat cream cheese and yeah. some caster some sugar. Sugar, caster sugar. Sugar. In there. sugar. Mm -hmm. And then we've got our vanilla Essence. extract. I've got to go wearing fancy here. It's got Ooh, the extract. Okay. okay. A little bit of salt. Okay, and then we just want to mix that up so that you don't have any lumps. Yeah. Are you battling a bit? Get it. No. Am I battling? <laughs> How do you know if you're getting it wrong? When this is happening. Go. Go, go, <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Now mix, we've mix, got mix. the eggs in there. Should make it a lot that should help a easier lot. for us. I love it. Go into expressoshow.com if you want this recipe, of course. Um, all of the ingredients are listed there, and as well as all the steps. Fighting with your uh, You probably won't have a pro helping you in the kitchen to bake <laughs> this, uh, but I promise you, if you do follow the steps, you probably won't need one. You will find the pro in yourself. Um, okay, and You'll then? Become, right, so we just mix, mix, mix. Mm -hmm. um, this is where an electric mixer comes in really, see, really handy. Because it can get quite hard, but I think the eggs are a great idea to obviously break it all so it up. So just breaks it down. Yeah. When that happens, could you add a bit, bit of water in there, or could you um, add a bit of egg in no, no, no. Egg. You just want to keep going. Okay, that's, keep going. Keep, keep going. going. That's the keep idea. going until you have really big arms like Raoul de Monet. If that's not happening, then, <laughs> then you're not doing it right. Is flat. Yeah. Um, okay. Oopsie. Mm -hmm. um, so once that's done. Yeah. So sorry, I am battling myself mm -hmm. a bit here. Mm. Just get this out of the whisk. Mm. Um, so this is going to happen, and then you're going to mix it all. Uh, or what are you going to do with this step? Right. So what we do with this step mm -hmm. now? Let's just get there. Uh -huh. um, we're going to take a little bit out and mm -hmm. mix it in with that. Ooh, so we're making nice. a sort of... Nice. Oh, gosh, this yeah. really is... Don't worry. The magic of television means we don't have to get it all like 100% Okay, so uh, we're going to pretend that it's lovely yeah. and smooth, which it will get to eventually. Yeah. Just takes time. And we pour that over. Yeah. This does show you that you can't get a recipe like this done in five minutes in no, real life. Takes this time. sort of thing takes time. Takes You've time. got to put the labor and the love into it. Uh, but uh, I'm going to taste one, okay? Because yes. this is what the final product looks like. And it looks so, so beautiful. Uh, you can have fun with it. Uh, sprinkle some gold dust on it. Uh, throw on uh, some uh, uh, berries powder. on there, some cocoa powder. It's up to you. I'm going to taste it. Angie, the, the, the proof is, is in, the, in the tasting. Okay. Right. Oh. 
Okay, and then you just swirl it all together so that it creates a marbled effect. Mm. Bake at 180. I like you keep going as if I'm not tasting and about to give you the result. And, and the result is that this tastes absolutely oh, divine. Oh, so divine. Yes, you've nailed this one. Really wow. Diet. Mm. Yeah, a crowd pleaser and a showstopper for sure. Go onto our yeah. site, expressoshow.com. This recipe is on there with the ingredients. This tastes so good, and it's definitely uh, the celebration a brownie yeah. and cheesecake combination <laughs> to have. Enjoy. Happy eating. Mm. Mm. Well, as the deliciousness continues over there, let's get busy for a second, as playful as dogs are. They are sometimes a little stubborn during playtime, but with help from dog trainer Karis Nafti, we no longer need to negotiate with our dogs to drop the ball. Pet owners, I think you know what I'm talking about. Hi, I'm Karis. Today I'm going to be showing you how to teach your dog to drop a ball when you're playing fetch. Helping me today is Wednesday. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use a treat so that when your dog brings a toy back when you're playing fetch, you can swap them for the treat. I'm going to throw the ball and when she brings it back to me, I'm going to have a treat in my hand so she'll spit the toy out to get the treat. Wednesday, get it. Wednesday, good girl. So by having a treat in my hand, I'm encouraging her to bring the toy straight back and not play keep away with it. So use this technique, especially when you're teaching your dog the skill of fetch to begin with. It's a really good way to create a good habit, and by doing it repeatedly over and over and over, the habit will get a lot stronger for your dog. Thank you, girl. Good girl. A flea and tick-free dog is a happy dog. Protect your dog from harmful parasites with NexGuard Spectra's Tasty Chewables. Did you know your dog needs to take just one NexGuard Spectra Chew once a month to treat and prevent the broadest range of troublesome parasites, including ticks, fleas, mites, and various worms. NexGuard Spectra can be given with or without food to puppies as young as eight weeks and to dogs of all sizes and breeds. NexGuard Spectra is the tasty chew you can trust and the treat your dog will love. You have been schooled. Thank you so much, Karis. Now, courtesy of NextGuard Spectra, we have an amazing competition for you and your dog. Yes, of course. We have three amazing NextGuard Spectra hampers up for grabs, which includes a whole set of fun accessories um, and up to a year's supply of NextGuard Spectra treatments. The better your entry, the bigger your prize. So, to stand a chance of winning, we want you to send us a video or a photo of your dog doing a fun and special trick or pose. Post that entry on the competition post on the Expresso Facebook or Twitter page and include the hashtag NextGuardSpectra. That competition closes on the 15th of October. So you'll have uh, plenty of time to teach your dog some new tricks and make them stand out. And for all the terms and conditions and a full list of what's in that amazing prize, you can visit expressoshow.com. Good luck. <laughs> it's one for the book readers and the book eaters. One for the construction workers and their helpful ones. One for the laundry sorters and the laundry hoarders. Whoever the dog member of your family, big or small, new NextGuard Spectra, the broad spectrum monthly chew that protects inside and out in one easy step. NextGuard Spectra, just one chew, so easy for you. you now take all the burdens that surround me
Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show, Expresso, right here on SABC3. It's a special Monday morning because we are celebrating 10 years of Expresso. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we are definitely doing it the right way by also having conversations with people who have created fond memories with this beautiful platform. Now, from being a presenter search on three finalists to gracing us with his amazing vocals for your Gospel Mondays, each week, uh, the talented gospel singing sensation Jared Rickards has quickly become a friend of Espresso, and uh, we of course needed to invite him to our special birthday show to talk about his favorite moments on Espresso and his recent nuptials. You are a married man! Married man! What? what? Just look! <laughs> I love it! Thank you so much! Wow, Jared, congratulations! Listen, such a big step. Um, I'm very excited. Mm. You know, myself and my wife, we had our wedding. Yo, my wife! Hey! <laughs> How yes. does it feel Just to say that exactly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so it's crazy. I mean, it's such a massive milestone for myself and, mm. her. and uh, We had our wedding two weeks ago and we kept it quiet. Why? Um, successfully so, which was great. But slowly but surely, people started finding out media, mm. that kind of thing and so we decided to announce it on Facebook last week yeah. and the um, outpour have, of love has just been um, amazing you know people we don't even know come up to us and uh, you know congratulations yeah. I walk somewhere someone shouts Jared congratulations it's a beautiful <laughs> commitment you yes. know to celebrate your love in that way and you know the union of marriage is something that is truly ordained by God and it's Indeed. blessed by him you know but did you did you choose to keep it low-key hush hush and not share it in public immediately what's the reason behind that you know it's such a special moment mm. and I really wanted myself and my wife to enjoy the time so much of what I do is put out into the public yes um, and I just wanted this to be a special moment for myself and my families and mm. like just two weeks to get into it you know <laughs> to understand what we're doing right here and um, because uh, everyone has become family yeah um, I just decided as well it's time to let everybody else know yeah and uh, we've been so blessed uh, people have come to the party to help us along Manila Von Tees, uh, you wow. know South Africa's top drag queen who was also yes. a designer Vion Vensel designed my wife's dress um, <laughs> Um, yeah, I went to Scotch and Soda and got my suit. Wow. And um, we, you're just friends chirping in and helping us to 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 make this a special day mm. because you know with lockdown we could only have 50 people yes. in the room, so it was literally just family and some close, 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 close mm. friends. And um, of course we kept social distance and all those things. <laughs> but but um, it was great to have my parents there. I said, with with Corona, you don't know what's going to happen. Mm. I want my family, yeah. especially my mom and my dad, to see me get married and. Um, they got to do just that and um, they're proud of me and they're excited and they are helping us uh, get things together for this new venture. Uh, lots of advice. We've been getting lots of advice <laughs> from people, but hey, that's another story. <laughs> oh, Jared, obviously, congratulations once again. I mean, you're starting a family, but you've also become a family for Expresso as mm. well. Every Monday, you're gracing us with your beautiful voice and we get to celebrate, but today, cele celebrations are, are due for Expresso itself and I'm sure mm. you have some memories that you'd love to share. <laughs> being on the show, really, what, what's that? Stands out for you the most. I think myself and Kutle, listen, we've had our journey <laughs> present the search, and um, there was a challenge where we had to go and interview. Um, where was it? Where were we out together? Eswatin. Eswatin, Chomi. I got the um, Sangoma. Yeah, he couldn't speak English, yes. and uh, it was it was something else. He made me eat soil. He made me do, and I learned so much. Some great, mm. it was a lot of fun. And then, of course, you guys threw me into the kitchen. <laughs> uh, which is not a familiar space for me and I had to make a smoothie and I do it so well at home yeah. but for some reason when I got here it just always <laughs> out the window yeah. look at yourself right now you're just Stumping like um, some of it out there because what? Hey, to be that fair, is that, accurate to be fair accurate. that smoothie was good we, I enjoyed it after that was it, I had it was it afterwards. edible my it friend it was edible it was good <laughs> you've got good <laughs> that's, that's important that's the important part that they, he enjoyed it and you did well you are doing so much when Jerry I yeah. mean, you come through and bless us with your voice every single Monday with Gospel Mondays. And uh, this morning, you're also here to celebrate and introduce a new something, yes. something. <laughs> Would you like to introduce it yourself to everyone at home? Yes. So um, you all know my song, You Are Lord. It's top charts uh, at radio stations, gospel radio stations across the country. And now I have a visual. Yes. Um, this is my new music video for You Are Lord. Enjoy. Lord, I come before you now. Take all the burdens that surround me Release the chains that pin me down 
so I can reach out for your glory. Searching for the cure to make it better. Praying on my knees, now I remember. You are my provider. You are my salvation. Risen from the cross to conquer every nation. Unconditional, you love me. The Bible tells me so. You cast away. Wow, this is just a beautiful song. You are my provider. Amen. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love that background as well. It's reminiscent of something very local. I see, which yes, is true yes. to our Capetonian hearts as well. But where did the inspiration and the idea come through wow. from the song and the, and the music video as well? So the song itself was a prayer. You know, mm. uh, before lockdown started, we started hearing about COVID-19, mm. which just got me stressed out. I don't know about all of you. Mm. And um, you know, after praying really hard, I sat down and. I put pen to paper and I started writing. I was like, what am mm. I doing? Anyway, the words are coming, just do it. Yeah. And um, it's about being obedient. Ne? And when I looked again, it, 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 it was a song. And I could put a melody to this. Mm. And I went to the studio just before lockdown, recorded it. And I was like, Lord, you got to show me when you want me to use this song. Mm. And literally a week later, I got a call uh, from a, a gospel TV show who said, do you have a gospel song or anything? We mm. want you to be on the show. And so I was able to launch my song yes. there as well. And um, the video itself, I just wanted to pay a homage to the beauty that God created. Yes. You know, and as you can see, we are at Newark Beach, yeah. um, living my best <laughs> life in my testimony hoodie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what, Jared Ricketts, thank you so much for coming here every single week and sharing your gift with us because it's truly something that's amazing to witness growing with you my friend on hey. presenter search on three you've dropped testimony you are married hey. and now you are dropping your new visuals <laughs> to your song it's absolutely beautiful and wonderful to watch god bless you and achieve so much more okay thank you. And same your way congratulations to you guys for building the careers that you mm. have oh, thank you Jared. Thank all you so love much. man <laughs> well we hug on each other right now i think it's time for us to remind ourselves as to what's happening in and around the world. Thanks very much, guys. It's just gone two minutes past seven. Here's another look at the news this morning. On the national news front, the Department of Energy yesterday announced that as of midnight tomorrow, the price of 95 octane petrol will drop by 32 cents per litre and that of 93 octane by 23 cents per litre. Now, the price of diesel will drop by 93 cents a litre. The price changes come as international petroleum prices decreased and the rand strengthened against the dollar over the period under review. Currently, 95 octane and Leaded petrol retails at 14 rand 48 cents at the coast and 15 rand 16 cents up country. KwaZulu Natal has welcomed its first international flight under alert level one. International flights were suspended at the beginning of the national lockdown in March. A Qatar Airways flight landed yesterday evening at the Kingshaka International Airport in Durban. It received a welcome from different provincial government officials, including the provincial MEC for Economic Development, Tourism and Environmental Affair, Affairs, Nomusa Dubengube. Addressing the media, Dubengube said the arrival of international flights would boost tourism and the economy of KwaZulu-Natal. On the international news front, a bust of Indian independence hero Mahatma Gandhi has been unveiled in the Malawian capital Lilongwe, two years after critics prevented a Gandhi statue from being erected in uh, Blant Blantyre. Now this marks the uh, birthday of Gandhi, who was assassinated in 1948 at the age of 78. The unveiling ceremony was attended by Malawi's foreign minister Eisenhower Mkaka, who uh, said Gandhi had led India's freedom movement through non-violence struggle. He said he was an icon and set the ball rolling for emancipation from colonial struggle. In other news, the coronavirus pandemic has triggered unprecedented investment in cycling throughout Europe. More than 1 billion euros has been spent on cycling-related infrastructure and some 2,300 kilometers of new bike lanes have been rolled out since the pandemic began. The, the Italian government has even pledged subsidies of up to 500 euros if citizens wish to buy a new bike or an e-scooter. Now, in a bid to keep people off the public transport or off public transport and out of cars. The European Cycling Federation believes the pandemic has shown the potential cycling has to change cities and people's lives for the better.
And now, James Bond news from the world of entertainment. The release of the latest James Bond film has been delayed again. The premiere of No Time to Die had already been moved from April to November because of COVID-19. The $200 million sci-fi epic has now been further delayed until the 2nd of April next year. A significant portion of Bond film earnings comes from the UK and European market where COVID-19 is once again on the rise and they may have been concerned that potential restrictions could limit box office earnings in November. Cinemas in Los Angeles, New York and San Francisco are also largely remaining closed. No Time to Die, the 25th installment in the Bond franchise marks Daniel Craig's final appearance as British Secret Service agent 007. Trailers of the film as well as Billie Eilish's title song have already been released with the Eilish video debuting mere days ago just before Friday's last minute decision to delay. The previous Bond film 2015's Spectre coined some $900 million worldwide at the box office and also bagged an Oscar for best original song. The latest film will no longer be in contention for the 2021 Oscars under current guidelines. Now two other major releases, Wonder Woman 1984 and Marvel Studios' Black Widow starring Scarlett Johansson were also both pushed back. That's it for the news at 7 o'clock right now. Here's another look at what's happening in the world of sport. Here's Graham. Thanks so much, Kat. Well, you couldn't have scripted this weekend sport to any better. Let's kick it off with rugby first. The Sia Khaleesi-led green team overcame the gold team 25-9 in the Springbok showdown fixture at Newlands on Saturday. The green side headed into halftime with the narrowest 6-3 lead and came back stronger in the second half to score two tries and a penalty to secure the win. South African rugby will now continue this week with Super Rugby Unlocked, a tournament starting on Friday evening. On to tennis, South African teenage tennis sensation Kolo Monsi eased into the second round of the Roland Garros Junior Championship after seeing off a French wildcard Axel Garcia 6-2, 6-2 yesterday. The 17-year-old seeded 11th in the tournament will now play the unseeded Brit Felix Gill in the second round. In other news coming from the French Open, South Africa's Kevin Anderson sadly crashed out after a 3-6, 2-6, 3-6 defeat to Russian Andrei Rublev. And on to cricket in the Indian Premier League, South Africa's Faf Duplessis continued his good form. He struck 87 not out from just 53 deliveries to help secure a 10-wicket win for the Chennai Super Kings over the Kings 11 Punjab, that at the Dubai International Cricket Stadium. In the daytime, encounter Duplessis, our Proteus teammate, Quentin de Kock, also starred for his team, hitting 67 from 39 deliveries for the reigning IPL champions, the Mumbai Indians, that was over the Sunrisers Hyderabad. So the Royal Challengers Bangalore take on the Delhi Capitals in today's IPL fixture. Then a shock weekend in football, defending English Premier League champions Liverpool recorded their first loss of the brand new season after a humiliating 7-2 defeat to Aston Villa at Villa Park late last night. Ollie Watkins scored a first half hat-trick. Jack Grealish scored two plus goals by John McGinn and Ross Barkley securing a memorable win for the Villains. And earlier in the day Tottenham Hotspur they put six past Manchester United to win their encounter 6-1 at Old Trafford. That's where we leave our sport for today. Let's get a weather update with Kutle. Let's get into the final look at our weather report this morning with your sunrise pictures. Fatima de Bont woke up to such a glorious morning in Bumalanga. Now that part of the country will experience some showers and the maximum is 25 degrees. Nick Lombard showing the beauty of the Northern Cape ha uh, has to offer with this gorgeous sunrise. He says, morning team, hope you have an awesome day. We sure will because we're celebrating 10 years of Expresso. Now your part of the country will enjoy a mostly sunny day reaching a maximum of 20. 27 degrees. Thank you so much for your sunrise pictures. Please continue to share them on our social media platforms and we will show them live on the show. Now moving on to our international weather report. Intermittent rain and strong wind have been experienced in Paris where the French Open enters its final week today while in the southeast of France and northwestern Italy at least two people have died and up to 20 are still missing after a powerful storm ravaged these areas. The storm named Alex brought fierce winds and torrential rain. Villages north of Nice in France have suffered serious damage from floods and landslides with roads, bridges and homes destroyed. 
destroyed. In some areas, 450 millimeters of rain fell in just 24 hours with winds of more than 180 kilometers an hour. And in northwestern Italy, 630 millimeters of rain in 24 hours made roads impassable and flooding was described as historic and extremely critical. The city of Venice, which had been braced for high waters after suffering violent storms in August, was successfully protected by a flood barrier system, only recently declared fully operational. Officials have said the prospect of even more rain in the coming days is truly worrying. Well, I hope everyone in those regions try to remain safe. Now let's bring it back home with the report for the rest of our country, starting off at Bologuana with a partly cloudy day and 25% chance of rain. Thunder showers from Bombela at 65% chance of rain, rather, uh, starting off the morning with a low of 16. And Pretoria, 15, 28 are your temperatures. Namhlanje, Josie Maboneng, yours range from 14 degrees, reaching a high of 26 degrees. It's a cloudy day in Mahikeng with 25% chance of rain. A sunny one for Glexdor with a maximum of 32 degrees. Namhlanje. Kimberley, 12, 28. Bloemfontein, 9, 28. Richards Bay, it's some sun and rain with 55% chance of rain. Peter Maritzburg, uh, 15, 25 with 40% chance of rain. South Africa's playground, 18, 24 and do expect some showers. Mtata, 10, 28. East London, it's going to be a warm day with a maximum of 25. Cradock, you start off the morning with a low of 9 degrees and will reach a high of 30. Uh, Port Elizabeth, the Friendly City, 14, 22. A sunny one for George at a maximum of 22 degrees. Mostly sunny for Cape Town, maximum 22 and Vusta, 8, 26. Sutherland, 3, 24 and Uppington, a cloudy one for you with a maximum of 30 degrees. This was the final look at the weather report for this beautiful Monday morning. Now remember, whichever part of the country you're in, whatever the weather, please make sure to have yourselves a blessed and productive Monday morning. A blessed and productive morning, yes, but a feel-good one as well. Because, of course, we are celebrating our 10th birthday. It is Express's 10th birthday. The celebrations continue to unfold. And what better way to do so than with song and dance. Jared Ricketts and Roderick McKay are in the house this morning. Uh, a nice medley that's going to have you getting up and dancing. Hopefully, you've got your dancing shoes on already because there is no way you're going to be seated for this one. It's a medley of fun, cold play, and some Tina Turner in the mix. Take it away. Thank you so much. Well, good morning, South Africa. We are celebrating Espresso's birthday. So before we seek out that dead birthday cake, I'm going to get into some songs with you like this. I used to rule the world. Seas would rise when I gave the word. Now in the morning I sleep alone. Sweep the streets I used to own.
my story straight My friends are in the bathroom Getting higher than the Empire State My lover, she's waiting for me Just to cross the bar My seat's been taken by some sunglasses Asking about a scar And I know I gave it to you months ago I know you're trying to forget So between the drinks, subtle things The holes in my apologies You know I'm trying hard to take it back so if by the time the show closes and you feel like changing the channel please don't because we'll carry you home come on The call of your favourite places is just beyond the horizon. From the Kruger Park to the Cape Winelands, summer in the cities of Durban and Jersey, to the endless reaches of those garden root beaches, Protea Hotels by Marriott welcomes you back. With Marriott Bonvoy members enjoying 25% off, including free breakfast, and non-members 15% off. Book your dream escape now on Marriott.com.
Oh, welcome Ooh. back in the afterglow of an amazing celebration and performance. The streamers <laughs> are out. If you haven't figured it out as yet, it's our 10th birthday. So thank you wow. so much for being a part of that journey. Absolutely. All throughout the morning, we have been reminiscing on our favorite moments on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, of course. And now it's Graham and Kutler's time. I mean, the OG, <laughs> the newbie as well. Seven and a half years, G. I think wow. I'll, yeah. I'll start with you for this one. Where do you even start? Where do you begin? It, it feels like a year. It doesn't feel like seven and a half years. It's crazy to me, but when you see yourself seven and a half years ago, you're yeah, like, wow, in this all righty. <laughs> okay, that, uh, so much has happened. I think I've been introduced to so many amazing people, and half of them my heroes, all of my sporting heroes. I mean, I got to play rugby with the Springbok legends. I actually got to play on a rugby field yeah, yeah. with my idols from growing up. You know, and it's just mind-blowing. I think that's like a Brian McKnight moment for, Absolutely, yeah. for me completely. But it's the everyday South Africans that you meet that no one else knows, that no one knows what they do. These people that are doing remarkable remarkable things, changing people's lives, saving people's lives. That for me has been the most gratifying part. Yeah. Um, but it's, and uh, uh, to single out one interview, I feel like I'm, I'm betraying others. Like it's impossible. <laughs> There's just so many, but I think th there is one particular trip where it came to, it really kind of hit me how much of a privilege it is what we do. Yes. And discovering the garden route. I've loved discovering the whole of South Africa. I've been everywhere. Mm. Um, but getting to do this particular trip in the garden routes and it just was like this confluence of amazing moments and, um, I got to jump off Blowkrantz, which was crazy after having played beer pong with a bunch of American <laughs> students for the whole night. <laughs> Literally the whole night. I then went walking with, with elephants in the nice the Elephant Park, which was absolutely beautiful. But take a little look. Sally, the original matriarch, who now sits at the top of the biggest domesticated elephant herd in the country, nine elephants. That was amazing to me, and she's got a lot of sass. I loved connecting with her, I loved looking into her eyes, and I loved the fact that she looked back into my eyes as well. That magical experience that's giving me goosebumps now, thinking about it again. And the fact that you're sitting right in the heart of the Otanequa Mountains, you've got this panoramic view, that was beautiful, and it's right in the middle of the Nisna Forest, and the hope is to get another 40,000 hectares so that Dr. Debbie and her team can let these elephants roam even more freely in this environment that they used to have as their backyard not so long ago. Oh, oh, walk with elephants i've been able to to go walking in the wild with a cheetah before mm. on my own doing these these things that i know no one gets the privilege of being able to do and the yeah. show has given me all of that so i'm i'm just eternally grateful it's yeah. been a been a magical journey man sure Kusha, awesome. what about you um, um it's it's been not so long as seven, <laughs> seven years but i'm sure there's there's been some key moments for you absolutely i think one of my highlights apart from you know having nomzamo and pearl 2c on the show where we they shared the experiences in the industry and they mm. gave us their two cents as to how we can learn to navigate our way around it. Mm -hmm. um, I think the most fun was having the Ndlovu Youth Choir, you know, yeah. just a bunch of young, black, talented kids who represented South Africa on a global stage, celebrated everywhere. You yeah, got yeah, to yeah. sing with them and I think it's also yeah. you know, a highlight for you as well. Mm -hmm. Just experiencing them yeah. physically here was just truly exciting. World yeah. famous now. Story. World yeah. famous. And yeah. this is exactly why I absolutely love them. Things look so bad everywhere. In this whole world, what is bad? We walk blind and we try to see. Falling behind and all could be Stand up and be Gorgeous. proud. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that moment. Mm. That was a cool. And there have been so many amazing moments over the past decade of your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We'd love to hear about some of your memories. Please do share them with us on our social media platforms. And today's special hashtag, mm. Espresso Turns 10. Oh, that's beautiful. Memories, man, and it's Espresso Turns that's 10. Nostalgia. Beautiful. Though. Just reflect. <laughs> I mean, seeing G-Man all of those years ago in his early 30s looking also. Oh, look. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, but of course, yesterday was uh, the official grandparents' day, and I hope that you all gave your gogos, your nanas, your omas, your opas, your grandpas, all of them, uh, whatever you call them, a tight hug, and of course, shed your love and appreciation for them, because we love them, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and courtesy of Oma Rusks, we ran a wonderful competition where we asked you uh, to uh, join us via the hashtag Oma Knows Best and share the best advice that you have ever received from your grandparents uh, to stand the chance of winning one of five Oma Rusks hampers valued at a thousand rand. Yeah, and we received hundreds and hundreds of entries and we are just completely overwhelmed by the gratitude and love you have all come through from your grandparents and everybody else. So thank you so, so much for entering. But of course, mm -hmm. without further ado, mm -hmm. our roll, five baby. winners are drum roll. Mabido, we got Lebron Tabeta, Nishan, and Talita Kum all Woo, walking away with that Woo. happy prize. Yeah, yeah. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> now, we loved uh, what Talita Kum uh, sent in. She said, My Oma knows best in her last words, Kokwani. Kokwani, which means granny, uh, told me to never settle for a love that doesn't deserve me and a job that doesn't make me happy. She told me to stop playing small and she reprimanded me for overstaying my welcome when my needs were no longer served. Oh, Kokwani. Wise, wise, wise beautiful. indeed. Uh, solid advice, of course, uh, of wisdom, words of wisdom that we can all learn from, hey? Uh, absolutely beautiful. beautiful issues. Now, we beautiful. hope that all of our winners enjoy their delicious yeah. Omar Ras campers. Mm. But the festivities are, of course, not not over yet because we are and we have plenty more to celebrate on us us what's express's birthday of course mm -hmm. I mean, what other reason to celebrate yeah lots of celebrations coming <laughs> here, so don't move okay Cheers. Cadbury Dairy Milk Glass and a Half Project presents There's a Story in Everyone. Visit cadbury.co.za forward slash story time for more information on how to share your inspirational story. Welcome back to it, you gorgeous people. Welcome your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso live on SABC3. And you know, we're quite uh, in the mood for celebration this morning. Very celebratory. Why? 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 Because we are celebrating 10 years Ooh. of Expresso in yes. the game. Expresso turns 10 years old yeah. today. And you have sent through your wishes. And all we can say is a big, big thank you. Cause we're nothing without you. So let's take a look at some of those uh, wishes <laughs> that have come through from you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Expresso. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I wish you guys all the best and another 10 years of incredible success. Happiest of birthdays, 10 years old today. Absolutely phenomenal work. Thank you for inspiring us each and every morning and never missing a beat. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday to the Expresso Show. Thank you so much for entertaining us throughout these 10 amazing years. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Expresso, and thank you for 10 wonderful years of feel good mornings from Lynn Tutor, your number one fan. <laughs> to all the presenters, the behind the scenes people, we love, we appreciate you. Happy the birthday, Expresso. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Expresso. 
happy, happy, happy birthday day to you guys. I love you so much, guys. Happy, 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 happy birthday day, guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Expresso. Happy birthday to you. Hi, Expresso. It's Kurt Darren here. Very, very happy birthday. 10 years old. Can you believe it? Thanks for everything you've meant in my career. You guys have never turned me down for an interview. You've always been there for me. So thank you so much for the love. Happy birthday, Expresso. So much more fun to wake up with you than the other version of your name. Nobody needs coffee, we just need your smiles. Happy birthday, Espresso. I cannot believe it's been a decade with you. You've certainly made mornings a lot more fun and worth an early get up. So here's to many more. Happy birthday. Ah, truly wonderful and heartwarming messages from all our friends and Expresso family out there. Thank you so, so much. And please do continue to share your fondest memories of the past decade with us. Hashtag Expresso turns 10. Now, while every day is, of course, a special occasion on your Feel Good Breakfast show, some do stand out just a little bit more like today, celebrating Expresso's 10th birthday. And to celebrate this momentous milestone, we're indulging in this decadent and delightful Expresso Espresso chocolate birthday cake. And the secret ingredient for an ultra-moist chocolate cake is be well canola and olive oil blend and uh, just a splash and you have an indulgent treat that is fit for any occasion and joining us to celebrate and have fun in the kitchen as we show you exactly how we make our very own angie how are you i'm good, I'm good. oh wow how, how does it feel to be to be here today because you've, you've been part of the show as well for, for quite some time i can't years. exactly remember how long yes but i couldn't believe that you've been part of the show since the beginning i didn't realize day that. one so i Absol think that's amazing <laughs> Well done. It and is you a haven't privilege. changed a bit a either. <laughs> Perhaps A's a little bit lost a bit of hair, oh, but hey, hey, we're not counting that. Some wisdom. But there this is go. great. Uh, a chocolate cake fit for a 10th Yeah, because when you have a birthday, you should have a cake, right? Exactly. And right, a chocolate so. cake is the best kind to have. Let's get Right, so let's action. get stuck in. Uh -huh. So this is a fairly straightforward one, which mm -hmm. is, is always the best. Um, so it's basically wets and dries. So we're going to add all our dries together. Mm -hmm. Um, just give it a bit of a stir. Mm -hmm. So we've got some cake flour, some sugar, some baking powder. That all goes, goes together. Yes. And we'll just set that to one side. Mm -hmm. Then what we're going to do, just in a second, is we just need to get our cocoa powder mixed through. Yes. So what I find is when you add liquid to your cocoa powder, so we've got hot coffee, hot mm -hmm. espresso, mm -hmm. not espresso, um, and some <laughs> hot milk. Yes. Then it sort of dissolves your cocoa powder nicely. Mm and makes it sort of into a paste and I find it goes better into the batter and it gives you a bit of more of a chocolatey effect somehow. Okay. I don't ask me why. Probably because the, the, li the, the liquid kind of breaks down if you want to you know, boil it yeah. down to that microscopic level. Those little granules that form the powder now become the liquid that is just, yes. it's, it's, it's everywhere. It's it sort of dancing blends, throughout the entire thing. It blends thing. in yes. so much better and you get okay. a much more soft feel. Mm -hmm. Right, then we've got some eggs. Let me add to that. Whoopsie. Three fresh um, eggs. Give that a mix mm -hmm. which is going to be a bit messy now and then we've got our strange ingredient but not really because when you think about it is that what i think it is it is think about mayo it. yes to a chocolate cake yes but think about this it. this is not chips what are you talking about Chip <laughs> <laughs> wow okay so why so because mayo is eggs and oil that's that actually is true. What it is. Yes. So you you're basically just adding extra egg and and oil into your. So if you didn't have oil or eggs, you could just do mayo. I can't believe it. I would have never ever thought about that. And then of course our key ingredient here. And then the key ingredient oh is our just a little bit slippery. I just hope I don't drop it. And then we've just got a couple of tablespoons of mm -hmm. oil. So we don't need a lot of oil now. Because That's our be well canola and olive oil blend. So what, th this adds beautiful moisture. Definitely. And that's what we want in a chocolate cake. Isn't yeah. It? A lovely moist dense chocolate cake. Absolutely. Right. And so we've got our dry ingredients, our wet ingredients. And, and that way it'll, it'll probably um, um, keep for longer as well, it right? It does. Because what, what you'll find is your sugar and your fats are what um, give you that long shelf life. Yes. So any recipe that's got quite a bit of sugar and quite a lot of fat okay. will keep for longer. Which is nice. Because, Lovely. you know, you don't always eat it on the first day. That's very true. <laughs> Unless it's really good. Unless if you have a crew like this, then, then we probably will. Yeah. And you just mix it into a batter. So that's our batter once it's mixed. 180. Mm -hmm. So what I find um, is the best thing to do is to actually divide your batter between two cake tins. Uh, it just bakes a little bit more evenly mm -hmm. and a little bit better. Uh, then you don't get that sort of denseness in the, in the center, you know. You get it. It yes. rises more evenly. And you do the... Oh, whisk, oh, there we go. Our whisk has lost the plot. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, I find a whisk is the best thing to use to make, mix a batter because yes. it gets rid of any lumps. Okay, so, okay. And that's that. That's your batter mixed. Pour it evenly into lined cake tins. Okay, yes. 180 until it's just springy on the top. Mm -hmm. Once the comes out clean. There we go. So once your cake is baked, mm -hmm. we're going to make some icing. This can go on the inside um, and on the outside. So you can decorate it however you want. Mm -hmm. You can either slice your cake and fill it or just do it on the outside. Mm -hmm. Soft butter. And Room temperature. The, the trick for me is I pop it in the microwave very carefully. Yes, yeah, otherwise at a it time. just completely melts. You don't want it to melt, but you want it to be as soft as possible uh -huh. um, so that it's lovely and light and fluffy. And in fact, I use an electric mixer and I whisk the butter until it is super light and fluffy before yes. I start adding the icing. Sugar. Okay. So we, we don't have time to do that today, but the idea is you then add um, your icing sugar and your cocoa a little bit at a time. Okay, so you go one, one to one. Yeah, very slowly. This should take quite a long time to make, actually, mm -hmm. uh, if you want a really good, light, fluffy butter icing. But the end result, absolutely. And then the end result is lovely and fluffy. And while you do that, let me yeah. just see if I can just so get you would these just candles started. And I'm sure you will. So you just keep going on this, and then you add a little vanilla. And at the end, you can lighten it up with some milk or some yogurt if you Lovely. don't want it to be too sweet. Lovely stuff. Okay, this is looking right. good. Are you winning on that? Yes, I am, Fantastic. surprisingly. Because it's usually when you, have, when, you, when you have to do these things on live TV. That it doesn't work. That it just doesn't work. But this looks like it's done the deed. There we go. Fantastic. Happy birthday. I don't know if we've got the right camera angle for it, but I'm going to try and see if I can twist it around there. Here we go. So happy this is a lovely birthday. fest of happy cake, isn't oh, it? Oh, lovely. Thank right. you so, so much for that, Angie. It's a pleasure. Really do appreciate it. And thank you for celebrating with us and thank you for being it's part of pleasure. the show. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having over me over the, the show years. over the years. All right. Of course, you can find the recipe on our website, expressoshow.com. Quite simple, easy and delicious. And hey, how about you bake a cake in honor of our decade of celebration that we're having today? Lovely. Visit bewellfoods.co.za to download your free immune-boosting cookbook today. Be well. Love. Food. Life. Looking for fantastic health and weight loss benefits without a lifestyle change or being on a diet? Well, ShapeLine 50 Billion from Proven Probiotics is the first ever probiotic to offer scientifically proven weight loss, while at the same time boosting immune and digestive health. That's why we think ShapeLine 50 Billion may well be the world's most effective probiotic. Available at Discam and Clicks. Welcome back, you're live with Espresso, and we are continuing to celebrate our 10th birthday. Can't every day be our 10th birthday? It is just so amazing, man. I, I think very nostalgic for a lot of us because this has been such a big part of our lives, and I've had the pleasure of watching new kind of journeys begin on the show, which has brought me so much pleasure. And I obviously then get to make new friends as well, yeah. which is, is absolutely <laughs> beautiful. So um, welcome again to the family. I know, uh, Tubbs, I'll probably start with you because you've been here a little bit longer. You've got yeah. such a naughty look in your face. What are you going to do? You look like you're about to. Uh, but that face <coughs> I know and love because you see it every <laughs> single day. Where you've brought a breath of fresh air to the show. Mm. What moments have stood out for you? Can you kind of There's single, been so, single out? so many. And I think when the producers asked me to uh, sort, of, uh, sort of pick one, it was such That's a difficult 
difficult thing to do. Yeah. It's almost impossible. But I think the one thing I've liked and really enjoyed about being on this show, and you will attest to this, is that it's got this ability to have you step out of your shell. The show makes you do that in the things that forces you kind of have you, to do. Yeah. It forces you to do that. Uh, and I think uh, in my earlier days, trying to really find my flow and trying to sort of uh, break out of my shell was a bit of a difficult thing. But I think through the content, uh, you're forced to be able to do that in a way that is authentic. And one of those ways that stands out for me is when we had to do an exercise uh, routine, a uh, fitness segment, <laughs> right? Well, before your days, okay. before your time. Okay. And we did this. They used to handle it. We, to take I, care used of to business, be, so. I used to actually be the fitness guy on the show. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, you will see the calves as well. They, they're telling. Uh, but I had to do a fitness thing in high heels. I remember, do you remember that. that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So we're going to start off, and all I want you to do to warm up those hips is a figure of eight movement. So literally a nice, comfortable oh position. Don't look so worried. Oh, Everything's nice. cool. I like says comfortable position. And then all I want you to do is round those hips out, nice and slow. He's already adding in the arms, which I kind of love. I'm just trying to balance. And when you are feeling comfortable, then you are going to add a little arm Bobby, movement. Bobby, you look beautiful. Mm, wow. Thank you. Stop it, you and You, look you guys, beautiful, my boy. how amazing. Oh, this then, is bucket guys, list stuff. When oh, we are yeah, feeling nice and comfortable, I want us to drop all the way down. And then as we come up, you're going to do a little booty pop back. Woo! And stand. A little drop and a little booty pop back. Oh. Guys, let's turn to the side, because I feel like these people no are not getting it, the it? best okay. version of us right now. So we're dropping. And then we are popping. <laughs> well, you, you can't add. Don't spice. I like and it. as it happens, you do get a bit carried away with this sort of thing. But that as was it fun. Happened. And I think oh, you, you're, you're able to have so much fun and just, you know, don't take everything so seriously all the time, man. And that's the, the, the one thing that I really enjoyed about this show is to be able to have fun because that really you gets learn to laugh at yourself. Smiling. Man. You learn to laugh at yourself. Uh, well, dude, someone who's always laughing, always smiling, <laughs> always super pumped and always spreading that, yeah. that love and that energy on set, dude, since the day that you've arrived. And you arrived during crazy times, yeah. my friend. How do you kind of put it all into context? What, what moments stand out for you in your journey here, bro? It definitely has been crazy. And I mean, I, I came in at such a, a, a chaotic time, I'd say. I mean, the last time I was on the show was me trying to fight for a position as a presenter and I almost got knocked off completely on my birthday and then coming back to what initially appeared as such an overwhelming thing there's so much that happens on the show there's so many people that you can potentially get intimidated by, uh, by. even you as presenters you I, I, I see you guys on TV and I look up to that and it's it's an overwhelming thing but like Tabiso says you learn to kind of let go and, and break out of your shell and mm. and for me what really hit home and, and and made that connection where I felt like you know this is not just another show this is real this is something special was uh, lockdown obviously presented a, a moment where we uh, we had our family Family coming through from all parts of the globe, America, Australia, Canada, and we were meant to celebrate our grand's 90th birthday. And it's we're big on family, and and what our family's done to, to just kind of get through what we have and to be on stages like this has been a, a big thing. So having that taken away was was gut wrenching, and, yeah, and it hurt the family quite a bit. And our, my mom was stuck in an old age home, and we couldn't even celebrate. But then, you know, a show like this gives you the opportunity to kind of just celebrate and do something special. Have a moment where you can just be real and honest and 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 it, it brought so much meaning for, for us as a family to mm. have something special for my ma to celebrate so that she didn't feel like she was just stuck in an old age yeah. home like a prison. And, yeah. and to celebrate, it's weirdly enough, how uh, what connected us all together yeah. was the show on that day. And, and yeah. I'm so, so grateful for that. And again, Ma, if you are watching, yeah. happy birthday. I love you. Love you. you. <laughs> From that moment, I'm okay. you awesome. wishing awesome. you happy birthday. Let's see this. Look. This workout is specifically looking at targeting lower, lower body issues, any sort of pain or niggles that we do have and we're going to start off with something really interesting so um this one just by the way is also for my ma she turned 90 yesterday it was a 90th you birthday yeah 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 yeah, yeah. there she is ma <laughs> happy birthday, so happy birthday, Ma. Ma. I hope you're joining uh, in this one. Oh, yeah. oh man. <laughs> oh, man. I, I hope oh. Ma's watching right now. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, it's been awesome for you to, <clears throat> to join the family and kind of slot in and be, play the role that you have. So thank you for, for doing that, my friend. Ten years, a oh. decade on air, so many milestones achieved. And, of course, you guys have played probably the most important role of all. So keep sharing your oh, memories, memories with us. Hashtag Expresso Turn 10. We want to hear from you on social media. Get your 100% goodness with Crush. Scratch and stand the chance to win hundreds of goodness prizes for 100 days with hashtag Crush100.
Hey, listen up. While we are celebrating a decade of feel good, we're also all about making Mondays your lucky day with our 100% goodness crush peel and reveal game. And every Monday until the end of the year, we will be calling one lucky viewer live on the show and they'll stand a chance to win 100% goodness prizes. And this morning, 100% contestant Thomas Ramutla is on the line. Yeah. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, how are you, man? Good. Well. Thomas, you sound very like your energy is low. I need you to pick it up because, <laughs> listen, you're about to win baby. <laughs> <laughs> and Rush, <laughs> right <laughs> now, <laughs> it's our birthday. Okay, so Thomas, pick it up. Are you excited to play? Yes, man, I'm excited, man. There we go. Now, <laughs> listen, Thomas, each silver uh, block right here with a big letter and number on the board can be picked. So you get to choose any one of these silver blocks. Which one do you choose? Uh, I think um, a D1. D1. D1 is the Was one I that... Go, why am I nervous yeah, for Thomas? Yeah. <laughs> Can we get a drum roll while we do this? Here we go. What's on the D1? Oh, you've just won yourself a beautiful Nutri-Bullet! <laughs> Thomas, how do you feel? Yes, yeah, man, is breaking, man. Rara, <laughs> how do you feel, Dada Ramutla Thomas? You've just yes, won yourself I'm, I'm a Nutri Bullet. Happy, man. I'm very happy, man. And thanks for Crash, man. Oh, that's amazing, oh, lovely Thomas. Stuff. Enjoy lovely your stuff. gift. And please make <laughs> lots of smoothies. Maybe get some uh, recipes from all of us in, yeah. the, in the kitchen as well. So enjoy your prize. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, got, uh, Thomas, you've just uh, made our day. Thank you very much for putting a smile on our faces and congratulations on that prize that you have won. Now, Monday's just got a whole lot more exciting. Winning really is very, very simple and entering is even easier. Are you ready to stand a chance to win 100% goodness prizes with Crush? 100% you are. 100% goodness winners will be announced daily on Expresso from Monday to Friday from September through December. To enter, buy Crush promo packs, see the back of the label and scratch. And if you find a unique code, dial the USSD number on the pack to stand a chance to win immediate prizes or go into the grand prize draw. If you don't find a unique code, keep buying Crush to find the hidden codes. Crush is 100% fruity, Fresh, tasty, and refreshing. Made with love by Clover. Join us for the Insider Essay this Tuesday evening at 7.30 and escape to the West Coast with a rock legend. Hi, this is Arno Carstens. Come on a journey with me through the West Coast. Explore Bloom with Mr. World Africa, Dr. Fez Mkize. I'll wait to see what it has in store for me. Let's go, guys. And meet fashion designer, Palessa Mokobong. Tune in to the Insider Essay Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. and the repeat on Saturday at 8 p.m. on SABC3. Woohoo! 
Network. Yeah, welcome back to it. <laughs> Your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express live here on SABC3. It's a beautiful Monday morning. It what a is. way to kickstart a brand new week. Celebration over here over there and everywhere. Absolutely <laughs> loving it. So we are celebrating 10 years of espresso yeah. from baking delicious desserts that uh, to be so stuffing his face with right now to reflecting on our highlights as presenters. There have been so many. And now it's your turn to wish and share your memory of espresso. Take a look at this. Mm. <laughs> it's your feel good breakfast show. Happy birthday, espresso. 10 years. That's amazing. Congratulations to all of you. Love you guys. This is Majorzi saying happy birthday, espresso. Hey, espresso. You're 10 years old. You must be so excited. Thank you for giving a platform to people over the last 10 years to promote their businesses, their talents. No matter what it is, you guys have given them a platform. Thank you so, so much. Team Samsung wishes you a very happy 10th birthday. Congratulations. Hi, this is Nick Rabinovitz wishing Expresso a very happy birthday for the 4th of October. You're turning 10. My birthday is on the 3rd of October. Thanks for your birthday video, not, which means you will conceive the day after me. Happy birthday. Mazel tov. Slamat. It's an honor and a pleasure for me to wish a special 10 years of success. 10 years of making young people, especially artists' dreams, come true. Many more years for you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Espresso. Wishing you many more happy ones. How's it, Espresso? This is Andre Lotta. I want to wish you a happy 10th birthday. Thank you so much for entertaining us for an entire decade. Wishing you many more years. Have a good one. Hey everybody, this is Dean Woodman and I would just like to wish my Expresso family a happy 10th birthday. Thank you for waking up with us every morning and bringing us laughter, bringing us smiles and bringing us happiness before we go out for the day. Cheers. Happy birthday, dear Expresso. Happy birthday to you. I'm Jason Goliath and you are 10. Well done for doing well. Happy birthday, many more blessings and many more money. Monday, Monday. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye. Wow, Expresso, I can't believe you're 10 years old. We wish you many more years to come. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. I would like to wish Expresso more years to come on SBC3 on the show guys remember i'm watching the show every morning and i love you guys may you keep on presenting the show for one and for many more years to come expresso happy birthday wishing you the greatest of success for many many years to come it has been an absolute privilege to be part of the expresso family all the very best very best going forward and enjoy the celebrations today bye and thank you to each and every one of you for those heartfelt messages as we celebrate a decade of Expresso. Now, the beat-driven rhythm, upbeat melody and catchy guitars and positive vocals of our Feel Good Breakfast Show's theme song has provided the soundtrack to many a people's mornings as they step into the day with the dawn ringing in their ears. <laughs> now, co-writer of the original song, I Feel Good Today, Taryn Lamb, joins us this morning to give us a bit of a backstory on how the song actually got selected as our popular theme song. And I was, I was saying to you right now is, is this the first time that you ever had a song of yours part of a series absolutely and it was also the time in my career where it was the first time I started writing music wow and Colin Vincent and Andrew Baird from Orangutan Music, they actually got commissioned to do this um, song for Expresso. And at the time, it was in the early stages where Look. you guys had background music. Yeah. And the feel that they got from it that was that it was such a feel-good kind of show. And yes. that, became, that became such a, a lyrical line. And so they approached our management at the time when I was in Blackbird. And we got together and they invited me to co-write on the song and 
Here we are. There is, I feel good. History. I can't believe it's, it. It's crazy. And now, whenever you know, we walk around the streets, and then people go, "Hey, it's my feel good rap <laughs> show," and they're singing your line. That's amazing. That's well, what, crazy. What's been the kind of? I mean, do people even know that it's you when when you're walking around? Do they go, "Oh my word, no. you're, you're the one who sings"? <laughs> I well, ladies and so. gentlemen, now you know. Screen grab this on your TV right now. Oh, you can't screen grab on your TV. Can take I win a, a prize? <laughs> The prize is 10 years of feel good. I'll but, take a cake. But but what what is what has been the the sentiment from from those that do know um, about the song and your involvement in it? Wow, I think for my my family it's a big thing because they're so proud of me and they're proud that we get to be part of this family in that way. Yeah, um, you yeah. know, just celebrating the energy that you guys bring into our homes every single day. Yeah. So I think you know it's a beacon of hope as well um, to young singer-songwriters out there, also from places like Ocean View, where I'm from, mm -hmm. you know, to, you can strive and you can, you can push and you can dream and the sky is the limit really. So yeah. I'm so blessed to be part of this and to be sharing this song yeah. with, with you guys and the fact that you guys are in the music video as well. <laughs> that for me is a highlight. Thank you. Listen, Thank you so it much. It certainly would not be the same feel good breakfast show if it wasn't for your stunning vocals and your delivery in that performance oh. as well. Thank you very much for that. Thank but you, right please. now we get to actually hear the original song. And so here she is, Taryn Lamb, performing the original I Feel Good Today. Take it away. <clears throat> My feet every single day, you know Darling, this is magical Not just another sunrise Like a thousand times before Ooh, oh, oh. And oh, when you're beside me It's worth a million times Oh, my, I feel good today It's the way Every night. 
man. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I, I literally don't have the words. Goodbye. Made with love by Clover. Never feel good production.